You said recently in, in your old church, our national leaders are sending U.S. soldiers on a task that is from God. Pray for our military men and women who are striving to do what is right also for this country, that our leaders, our national leaders, are sending them out on a task that is from God. Are we fighting a holy war? The reference there is a repeat of Abraham Lincoln's words when he said, first he suggested, never presume to know what God's will is. And I would never presume to know God's will or to speak God's words. But what Abraham Lincoln had said, and that's a repeat in my comments, was let us not pray that God is on our side in a war or any other time, but let us pray that we are on God's side. That's what that comment was all about, Charlie. Today is the day that I send my firstborn, my son, my teenage son, overseas with his striker brigade, 4,000 other wonderful American men and women to fight for our country, for democracy, for our freedoms. But you went on and said, there is a plan, and it is God's plan. I believe that there is a plan for this world, and that plan for this world is for good. I believe that there is great hope and great potential for every country to be able to live and be protected with inalienable rights that I believe are God-given, Charlie, and I believe that those are the rights to life and liberty and the but, pursuit of happiness. That, in my worldview, is a grand, but, the grand plan. But then are you sending your son on a task that is from God? I don't know if the task is from God, Charlie. What I know is that my son has made a decision. I am so proud of his independent and strong decision he has made. What he decided to do in serving for the right reasons in serving something greater than self, in not choosing a real easy path where he could be more comfortable and certainly safer, 